Okay. So I want to show you about the truncate table. So for example, if I execute this statement, uh, it's basically pulling the distinct top 15 of first name last name, middle name, member ID, last four SSN from members table. These are the, the, the records, right? So, this is from members table. Let's take a look at the customers table. I'll select everything from customers table. So in customers table right here, we also list uh, first name, last name, middle name, member ID, and last four SS number. Okay, let's say um, you want to delete this record, all these records, and you want to replace with this output to a table. So you want to replace all the output from members table to the customers table because uh, both table have the same uh, structure you see that we have first name um, the same exact uh, field right so you you can do it first uh, you you want to the, you want to empty out this customers table, right? To do that, you can do what we call truncate. Truncate table, and this is the table name. But be careful um, using the truncate um, uh, because you know it's better to have a backup. So truncate is very dangerous syntax to use if we're not sure. You know whether we want to remove all the records or not. You know I usually have to back up or do it, uh, do the the testing on the separate table until I make sure we really want to remove all the records from this customers table. Just let let's for example we really want to replace the uh, the customers records with the members uh, records right here. So. Uh, so we have 15 records right now, right? From customers table. So uh, I'm going to truncate. Truncate means like to delete all the records and keep the structure the same. We don't delete the columns. We just delete the records. So I'm going to execute this. Uh, commence completely successfully. If I, let me comment this out. If I check, select star from the customers table, I have nothing. I already truncated it, right? Um, so if I, if I will just leave this, so we, we know that um, the if we have the records, new records or not. So I'm going to rerun two statement. This first is from members table. We have 15 records uh, where we want to insert all these to this table right here. Um, the best thing to do is to do insert into the customers table using this select statement. So if I execute this and then um, rerun the select statement, I have 15 records listed. Insert it from members to customers. So that's how to use truncate table to delete the records and keep the structure and do the insert from another table uh, to the uh, destination table.